Well, I know, but I can't talk about it. No, it's it's too it's too personal. It's too painful. <laughs> I mean, if you know, I I wish I could. Well, maybe I'll pray on it. I could I could offer some tobacco. Yeah. Hey, Bushu, how you doing? I was just talking to the uh, the birds up here. Benashi yug, birds. Benashi yug. You know, there are some things that are just hard to talk about. You know, some stuff is so. Painful and private. That if you th you think if you if you can if you start talking about it you're gonna start crying and then you you won't ever stop. <laughs> you know. Do you got anything like that? You ever feel that way? Well, today I want to talk about grief, depression, sadness. Today is Ojibwe word of the day. Um, where is it? Osita Wendum. Osita Wendum. Grief. And Gushkendum. Gushkendum. Sadness. Nin Gushkendum. I'm sad. Grief and sadness, I mean, they're, they're basically the same thing. Grief, well, no, actually, they're a little different. Grief is feeling sad when you lose something, you know, usually to death. But you can feel grief, you know, by if your pet dies. Some people feel grief when they, when they break up, if you have a, a breakup. Or a divorce or whatever. You know, broken heart. We'll see the wendum. So today I want to talk about these difficult things. But I need to pray first. So I'm going to offer a little tobacco. Asema. And I'm just going to ask the creator, Kachimonadu, the great spirit, to help me today. Hello, great spirit. Bushu, kitchimanadu. Accept my tobacco. Otapana niwi asema. Thank you for my life. Miigwech, kapamadiziyan. Help me to speak well today. We do kawishan. Ando minaway nun gum. Amen. Ape yake. <laughs> Just a little short Ojibwe prayer. I like praying in Ojibwe. I don't know. It it, it feels like I I kind of connect to the ancestors or something. I mean, if I'm being totally honest, I do most of my praying in English. I just start in Ojibwe. Make, make myself feel all traditional. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to talk about um, you know, signs of depression, stages of grief today. But I'm going to go home first. Okay, Baneshiyag! I gotta march on. I gotta leave. But I'll see you again. Kikawaba man. Minawa. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, sure. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Bonjour. Hi.
Hi, sweetie. Hey, you ready to come in? Yeah, can you pick me up? You got it. Let's see, let me just scan for your coordinates. All right. And I'm locking into them coordinates. <laughs> okay. Don't move. I won't. And that's one to teleport. Make it so, number one. <laughs> nah. Bonjour, Mino Giga Jabe. Hello, good morning, <laughs> and welcome to Bonjour. Bonjour, not a Bonjour. The podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. My name is Michael Lyons, and this right here is Natasha. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> and we're just going to start the show with a song. Um, you think you can sing a. Oh yeah, Cindy Lauper. How does this go? You with the sad eyes Don't be discouraged, oh I realize It's hard to take courage In this world makes you crazy And you've taken all you can bear Call me up because you know I'll be there I've seen your true colors shining through I've seen your true colors That's why I love you Don't be afraid to let them show True colors, true Like a rainbow Like a rainbow Unhappy, I can't remember when I last saw you laugh. <laughs> what I'm laughing all this time. Makes you crazy, and you've taken all you, you can, can bear. bear. You call me up because you know no, I'll be there. I've seen your true colors shining through. I've seen your true colors. That's why I love you. Don't be afraid to let them show your true colors, true colors, beautiful, like a rainbow, like a rainbow. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Lyons. Um. Hey, welcome back. Well, hi. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing great. Oh, you got the thing all ready for me. Yep. Uh, so should I just jump into it? Yeah, it's what what you just it, it's your show, baby. <laughs> okay. Hey, everybody, welcome to Boujou, not a Boujou. Today, on our on our comedy show, signs of depression. I guess one sign would be crying. <laughs> How do I get into this? I don't know. Uh, do you want to tell them why you're talking about this? Um, why am I talking about this? Today I want to talk about signs of depression. And um, this could be, you know, if signs in yourself maybe or stuff you should look for if you have a friend or a family member or something so signs of depression um let me see okay here's a here's what sign of depression fatigue loss of energy almost every day if you find yourself not being able to get out of bed or you taking those three hour naps in the afternoon? Or are you just, you, you, you're dragging around all the time. You're like, oh, I think I, you know, what's wrong with me? Why am I so sleepy? You might be depressed. <laughs> okay. Another sign of depression, feelings of worthlessness 
or guilt. Do you ever feel guilt? Oh yeah, that's the worst. If you feel worthless and you feel like a sense of guilt, like you, what you're doing is it's never good enough. And, and you feel like you're just a bad person, you're a bad daughter, you're a bad granddaughter, bad friend. You feel like you did something that's kind of unforgivable. And you feel this way every day. And you just feel like you piece of crap. You might be depressed. <laughs> you know? Yep. Impaired concentration almost every day. I think it's also known as brain fog. Yeah, I used to get that really bad. Brain fog. You can't think straight. You're always like losing your keys. You're like, what was I going to do? I, well, I can't. And you can't focus on anything. You, you, you know, you sit down, you're going to read. No, I'm going to do this. No, I can't. You just impair it. You, you might be depressed. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. How can I help? Get an elder involved. If you're a kid and you're noticing this stuff, you're crying around, you got no energy, you feel guilt all the time, you know, you just, maybe it's not even fair, but you just feel guilty and you feel worthless, go talk to your grandma. If your grandma won't listen, go talk to your grandpa or teacher or somebody older than you. Anybody. Anybody who's willing to listen to your problems. But if you, uh, if you have a friend who's depressed, sometimes people just need you to listen. This and done. To listen. You know, go up to your friend and say, hey, I noticed you, you seem kind of, you don't seem like yourself today. I got two ears. I'm all ears. <laughs> you got something you want to talk about? Something you need to get off your chest? I'm not even going to judge you or anything. Just, you know, just say it out loud sometimes helps. Offer your time. And then encourage balance. Mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. It's all about the medicine wheel. If you're down in the dumps, if you're really feeling depressed, blue, you got the blues so bad, you you got to take it seriously. And it's all about sorting out not just your mind. You got to sort out your body. You know, drink some water. Don't drink alcohol. That's just make it worse. Go for a run or a walk. Mentally, quit watching all that fear videos on YouTube. Oh, the world's coming to an end. Eh, look, here comes the whatevers. You know, got to get out there. Got to sort yourself out. And then emotionally and spiritually. Emotionally are your feelings, you know. But spiritually... If you're really depressed, you might be going through something very spiritual. Sometimes, before you get leveled up, before, you know, they say, it's always darkest before the dawn. If you're not feeling good, you, you got to do what I just did. Go outside, put out some tobacco, pray. Give it to God. Tell them, hey, I'm, I'm really sad. I'm really, I'm really worried. And I'm just messed up and I feel guilt all the time and I feel worthless. Please, help me. We took a wish in. And sit back and wait. You might be surprised. Um... This song is called Emily, and Michael wrote it. Emily's got 
one crazy eye. She looks to the west and she looks to the sky. Don't ask her how. Grief. Grief is a whole nother ball of wax. <laughs> Grief is depression with a whole spiritual component of um, you lost something that you loved. Either they died or, you know, they cheated on you and, you know, left you for the secretary. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Whatever it was, you know, you, you go through grief if one through a breakup. Grief and loss are an unavoidable part of life. People do with grief in many different ways. And there is no time limit. Some people grieve for three, four days and then they get back on their feet and they're fine. Other people, it can take years. Decades. It don't matter. 
There's no right or wrong way to grieve. But most of us kind of want to work it out. We don't like being in grief. So these are common experiences of grief. First of all, the shock. Ah, my kitty cat just died. Ah, you know, you, you freak out. Denial. Maybe she's just sleeping. <laughs> you know, I thought they had nine lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Symptoms of depression or anxiety. You know, you'd same depression stuff. You know, you're crying around, you can't sleep, or you sleep all the time. You feel worthless, feel guilty. You're anxious, you're worried. Um, poor sleeping, yeah. Poor eating habits. Oh, that's the other thing. When you're depressed, you know, it just, it's like snowballs. When you're not depressed, you go, oh, I'm going to have a glass of water, eat a salad, go for a run. It's a beautiful sunny day. When you're depressed, it's like, oh, I'm going to order a pizza and sit in the dark and watch TV. Yeah. You know, go drink a beer. That'll make me feel better. It just makes you feel worse. Low mood, preoccupation with the past. That's depression, too. You can't get over it. You can't stop ruminating on your crappy childhood. No, you know, how you were betrayed or whatever. Fear of the future. That's what, you know, what's going to happen? What if I can't make enough money to pay the rent? Oh, no, what if I get sick? What if nobody ever loves me? Fear of the future. That's, that's anxiety and guilt guilt it's never enough you're just like oh i should have been a better granddaughter i should have you know i could have tried hard i should have apologized for that thing you know guilt when you're in grief you get this weird guilt thing sometimes <laughs> oh. okay hey boujou boujou Welcome to Buju Nana Buju. I am Nana Buju. And I am Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd like to invite you to join the Buju Crew Membership Channel. For $4.99 monthly, you get exclusive perks, I've got exclusive no members only live stream. <laughs> Auntie Tasha's moment of wisdom, huh, sweetie? That's right. And after today, <laughs> uh, candid behind the scenes discussions with creator Mike the Lions. And uh, new music videos, dead celebrity interviews from heaven, what have you. <laughs> and of course, cat videos of Bagheera. <laughs> Click the link below. Join the Buju Crew membership channel. $4.99 a month. We'll see you there. <laughs> and I will see you again. Kiga Wabba Min. Mino Wa. 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 So it goes, or so they say. Times like a mountain skate. I don't know, but I can't complain. I know I've got my own <laughs> escape. In a oh, feelings, feelings, nothing more than feelings. Trying to forget my feelings of love. <laughs> I don't know, was that stupid? No, I thought it was pretty helpful. Grief, Osita Wendem. Today is Ojibwe word of the day. Oh, and Michael's got a got an Ojibwe-ish cartoon. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Lyons, the rock star cartoonist. Hey, everybody. Here, a little a little jagog is a little skunk saying, ah, ah. "That's what that means." It's not, he's not saying sigh. People who don't understand comics think the word is sigh. I mean, there is a word that is sigh when somebody sighs. But if it's in a comic book, he's going, ah. he's not saying sigh. 
Uh, anyway, um, Osita Wendum, grief. A little skunk. Now, Michael, you did some comic books about this subject, didn't you? Yep, I sure did. Um, are they still available for sale on Amazon.com? Yeah, they sure are. Well, why don't I pull up a picture? Sell a couple of books. Feelings, grief relief, and suicidal skunk are comic books that deal with mental health issues, I guess. It's part of a collection of comics under uh, I Can't Talk About It by Michael Lyons, the rock star cartoonist. Click the link in the description box below if you'd like to order your copy. Otherwise, baby, baby. You got anything else you want to add, sweetie, before I close out the show? That was pretty good. All right, everyone. Hey, Miigwech. Thank you so much for listening. Gee, Miigwech. God, this a dowie egg. Dash, thank you for watching. Miigwech, got a wubby egg. Bushu, not a bushu. The podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. My name is Natasha. This over here, oh, uh, <laughs> um, be still my beating heart. Not a bushu. Okay, miigwech. And over here, rock star cartoonist Michael Lyons. Hey, thanks so much, everyone. And I will see you again. Gigawaba min. Minowa. Oh. Na 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 do 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 Alright I think that was good sweetie. Thanks. <laughs>